Hello and welcome to our annual 8th grade girls versus staff GMS basketball game. I am game Chris Rometta and we are looking to have a very great game tonight. Tonight is also our 8th grade night. As you can see from our camera shot in the hallway. Plus, not coming in yet, but we are looking to have a really good game tonight, so it will start in 10 minutes. Please don't click away. We will start very soon. See in our shot on the screen, all of these posters for the 8th grade girls have been made honoring our amazing basketball team. We're ready to get this going, so don't go anywhere, folks.
Okay, guys, thank you for sticking in and staying with us for this GMS Sports live stream. At the point, at right now, we have two minutes, 20 seconds to go until game time. So please stick around. A, a great show is about to happen, so stay tuned. Less than one minute left until game time on both ends of the court. We see the staff of GMS and the eighth grade girls basketball team getting ready for the showdown of a lifetime, or at least of a year time. I think that made sense. Anyway, 30 seconds now. Get ready for the greatest game you'll ever see.
You guys understood all of that, the player listings, but here we are, 10 minutes on the clock. This game is about to get underway. Stay tuned for one of the greatest games you've ever seen or ever will see. goes to the girls' team. Oh, but it goes straight out of bounds. Turnover for the staff. Lawson takes it down the court, passes it to Dr. Dekonik. He goes around, tries to find somebody. It goes, the ball goes up, but it's missed. Mr. Watson goes up. The ball goes up multiple times, trying to make a basket. Dr. Dekonik finally puts it in. Two to nothing. Ball's liberated. Oh, past the basket. Oh, it's passed up under by Courtney Hankenhoff. No good. The ball goes back down the court. A three shot by Mr. Watson, but it's missing. Rebound tried to get by Dr. Nikonik, but he missed. Shot, it's no good. Charlie Mayo gets the ball for her team. Goes back to Jessica, Jessica Claude on the top. A three shot, it's no good. But the ball is rebounded. Oh, the ball is tipped up by Mr. Watson. He tries to retrieve the ball and gets it.
shot is up and good for Jessica Lott. Is put in the air and it swishes through the net. Six to four, six to five. Mr. Watson takes it down the court. Oh, a three is faked, goes up to the basket. Oh, but it's dribbled out of bounds. Sometimes you just try and execute and you cannot get it done. Oh, the ball is driven toward the basket, passed back, long to a shot and is no good. The ball is again passed around by the high school teachers. Dr. Dakota goes up, trick pass, shot is no good in the basket. Girls team is defiant to get a goal and it's no good. Jen dribbles it down the side of the court, eyeing the girls as if they are his prey. Oh, he tries to trick Brooklyn Bell, but it doesn't work on him. Ball is tipped up again and again, but there's no basket. Charlie Mayo goes up for the shot, passes it backwards, but air balls it to the other side of the basket. The ball's chucked down the field. <laughs> the court, I'm so sorry. And is laid up for another score. Eight to five. Still Greenwood girls ball. Institution for the eighth grade girls team. They seem determined. They hope to get a lead against this strong staff team. Shot goes up, but is just over the basket. No three. Dr. DeConnick drives down, but is past the Miss, Mrs. Sutton. Mr. DeConnick, Dr. DeConnick rebounds it and shoots it in. Oh, drives down the court, tries to get someone open. Ball is passed straight into the staff's hands. Oh, that was a toss up, and it was no good. Staff goes all the way down the court. Tries to figure out a solution. Mr. Watson grabs the ball, but fakes. Tries to side and cannot finish it. Charlie Mayo goes up for the shot, and the layup is good. 12 to seven, with five minutes left in the quarter. Oh, a three goes up, and it is good. 15 to seven. I will say I was not expecting this major lead against this very strong eighth grade girls basketball team. We'll see what will happen in the second half of the first quarter. Hello, my name is Dalton Hoggersmith and I will be co-announcing with Tries to get the shot in and is fouled. Goes to the line for two. Uh, is good.
three. The second shot is up and good as well. 15 to nine now. Mr. New taking minutes. it down the court. Just under five minutes now. Oh. Mr. Bennett pulls up for the three. It is short. Oh, short. I was not expecting that. Oh. I was chucked down the court, trying to find someone open. Kanaya Thompson up for the three. Ooh, and barely it is no missed. good. The ball Staff recovers up. it. Caught by Mr. Gwynn. Goes all the way down the court. Some ball manipulation Mr. there. New up for the two. And it's good. 17 to 9, Staff. Mr. Glenn intercepts that pass down the court, and it goes right back to the staff side of the court. Shot is no good. Hankenhoff taking it up. For this two. Shoots a long oh, two, just and missed Mr. Glenn, it. Mr. Glenn catches it. Oh! The ref looks catches like the they, pass. Uh, looks like the refs are on the uh, girls' side. I guess Hank so. Hanking off up for the jump. The staff oh, has not been missed. fouled yet. The girls have been no. fouled twice. Yes. Oh, Mr. New misses the layup. What is the call? Looks like, looks like it's staff's ball. It's been a very intense game. There, there's pushing. First quarter, yeah. jeez. There's three minutes and 25 seconds left and there's pushing and shoving. Hankinoff takes it down the court, stops at the three point line. Thompson for the three. Oh, oh. it's the back of the rim. Staff. Whoa. That was a circus shot, if I do say so myself. Pass all the way to the other edge of the court, trying to drive it in for some sort of move. But the ball is taken two times back to the staff. <laughs> she was unable to make a play. The ball just was taken right out of Miss Weimar's hands. You know, it's really unfortunate when that happens. Sometimes it is. you just gotta yeah. play how you gotta play. She was like getting double teamed and everything. Yeah. Refs didn't call it. Basketball is a harsh sport. Long two is shot, but it hits the end of the foul. Edge of the backboard. No good. Mr. New takes it down the court. Tell me if I'm wrong on this, but it uh, kind of looks like this game is unfair. Uh, I mean, the refs are helping out the girls. We'll see. Oh, my goodness. The ball is intercepted before it goes Staff out of bounds. for the two. Another layup goes up. It is 19 to 9. A timeout is called. No, that's a substitution, substitution, my bad. Goodness. Hanking off his double teamed in the corner. Oh, and the staff pick off the ball again. All the way Bend in the corner. The three. Oh, Just he's short. Like, he picks up the ball again. Benny got the rebound and he put it up for the layup. That was an easy shot. Yeah. Just reached over everyone. Oh! Chris Glock. Tries to make a play. Goes up for the easy layup. 21 to 11. What a great pass. Mr. New in the seam for another layup. Taking off is stopped just beyond half court. Passes it over to Watt. Oh, and there is a timeout. Timeout for the eighth grade girls. It's been a very intense first period. Staff working hard. They're up by 12. Yeah, they're up by 12. I was not expecting this to be the outcome of the first quarter. Neither was I. I would there's, still, there's a minute and 30 seconds left. Yeah, and we still got how many more quarters left? I think... Three. <laughs> Unless they go into overtime. I think um, the girls just 
w weren't able to warm up the right way before the game. They were shooting, but they weren't really being serious about it. Next quarter, they'll be coming back with a brand new technique, brand new system. They'll be making layups and threes left and right. The girls start again with the ball. Charlie Mayo tries to juke out one of the teachers. Ball comes Listen the other way. for the jump. A long two, but it bounces off the back of the rim. Bennett to Weimeyer. Weimeyer tries to shoot, Ooh, but is blocked. Swatted. Is blocked out of the Charlie air. Charlie Mayo up for the two. Ooh, passes it to Hankenhoff. Oh, but she has stopped short. Pierce gets it. Shoots, Shoots a long three. three. And, and it, it is, is good. In. A swish. 23 to 14. 40 seconds left on the clock. Staff's trying to drain out. Oh, that was way long. Gets the rebound and puts up the layup. Damn. 25 to 15 now. Trying to make a final good play to end out this first quarter. Oh, Hankinoff keeps the ball. Long off for three. the three. Oh, but it's no good. Was that an air ball? I couldn't tell. Yeah, it, it went past him. 20 seconds, the coach says. 20 seconds. I think the staff are just going to try and hold it. Or maybe Mr. New be brave. 10 seconds. Less than 10 oh. seconds. Now they shoot a three. Oh, so close. No, not 3. good enough. 3.1 seconds left to go. And it is eighth grade girls ball. If they can get it to a long range shooter, I think they can have a three. Pierce, Pierce. she goes down the court. Shoots a really Pierce long three. three. And oh. Short Just missed it. of the goal. We end up the first quarter 25 to 15. What do you think of that? Uh, it was very intense. You know, they both played their hardest, but I got to put it out there the Mr. Reinhardt and Mr. Dean combo in the beginning was uh, putting up points. I think they should put those two back in the game. I want to notice that Mr. Watson was really, really making some moves at the beginning of the first quarter, trying to put up layups for his team. He got, what, six or eight points? Yeah, it looked like that. Very, very impressive. Mr. Bennett from the high school, he's been putting up a lot of points too. Yeah. Mr. New's gotten a lot of... Uh, drives and rebounds to where he's been able to put in the layup. It's obvious that some of the staff players have delved into this sport before. Yes, definitely. Or are we starting right now with the second quarter? We yeah, might have a little quarter. intermission. Mm -hmm. uh, stay tuned after this. We'll have a little bit of a halftime entertainment as we watch kids do a three-point contest for a two-liter soda. And we'll have some interviews from the staff and 8th grade girls teams. Yes, we will. Specifically, Mr. Reinhardt. He came over here twice to request an interview. So we're going to yeah. give that to him can for I all the hard work that he's I, done. Can I interview Mr. Reinhardt? Please? Yes, you can interview Thank Mr. Reinhardt. And Mr. Reinhardt. The staff are starting with the ball. Mr. Reinhardt starts by passing in the ball. There's a bit of confusion. Where is Mr. Dean? They'll figure it out. Yeah. Mr. Reinhardt taking the ball. Oh, he, oh. <laughs> he trips, but he's okay. He's a bit shaken, but he's not stirred. I'm telling you, the Mr. Reinhardt and Dean combo are just... It's what needs to be out they there are to put power, up points. Power couple. I just noticed that the clock just oh. started. Miss Burt wow. put up the jump shot. This is Burt. Bank. Really making her game known. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Bell, Bell with the three. Oh, Ooh, so close. Mr. Reinhardt with the rebound. She should have gotten that shot. So close. The clock started like 10 oh. seconds before. Oh, Mr. Dean tried Mr. Dean's trying you. to go for those trick shots. It didn't quite work for him. Let's try to pass it in. A layup is Ooh, almost good, but not almost quite. Got it. Girls with the rebound. Brooklyn Bell taking it. 
Bell drives with the ball. Passes, passes it over to, to Pierce. Pierce. Looks for an opportunity to shoot a three. Back to Bell. Shoots a long two. Ooh. It's Ham ball, gets the rebound. Pass it back to Lott. Mayo, Mayo with the three. And it's good. Oh. Makes it 27 to 18. This game is not over yet. 27 to 19, my bad. Lott gets oh the gosh. steal. She goes up for the shot. Foul and, and one. one. And one. What did I say? They're come back with a brand new system. Yeah. Really firepower. Pushing their way. Looks cut, like cut the the, uh, the staff are trying to coach Mr. Dean. Lightly flummoxed by their yeah. situation. Starting I will say. To get caught up. High shot. The first shot good. is good. 27 to 22. Dean taking it off the court. Oh, and a little stutter step right oh. there. Trying to drive in. New. Passes to Mrs. New. Back to Campbell. To Ryan Hart. Hart. Ryan Hart puts oh, up the <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ryan Hart is on the ground. Mr. Ryan Hart is on the ground. Ryan Hart is on the No, he's back up. Tries to get it. He can't make a layup. Dean gets the rebound, puts up. He can't do three. Looks the staff has kind of lost their magic. They, yeah. I mean, Maybe their minds, I Mr. don't know. Mr. Ryan Hart's enthusiasm. <laughs> and if I could see right, he just took a drink out of the eighth grade girls' water bottles. Okay. Apparently fouled. And so it is now the staff's ball yet again. Passes it over to Reinhardt. Oh, passes it. And but Reinhardt it goes out of bounds. He, I think he could have had he could have had that ball if he uh, he kind of walked a little bit to the side. Ooh, just off the court. Oh, it's rebounded by Bell. She drives on the court. Bell to it Thompson. Here. Thompson for the three. Ooh. Just missed. Dean rebounds. Tries to pass it over, but can't, so he finds another solution. Dean taking it up. Reinhardt, Reinhardt for three. three. Oh, we oh, almost just made it. missed it. Oh, new We're rebounds. All waiting for Reinhardt to take a point. <laughs> he's riding all the way back to he's the like court. Shot. He thought it was <laughs> he's, he's Mr. Dean. Dean makes the layup. 29-22. Reinhardt. Dalton giving him words of encouragement. Thank the ball's off. held up. Back to Hall. Hall with the jump shot. Oh, oh it's just trust. short. Hit the rim to the left. Oh, Reinhardt oh, gets Reinhardt. the ball. Passes it over to Dean. Oh, Passing it over to the side. Over to Dean again. Fakes a three. Reinhardt still standing in the back half of the court. Yeah. Here comes oh, Reinhardt. Reinhardt gets the ball. Passes it. Over to Mrs. New, who tries to get it trapped in the corner. Oh, but it's intercepted Thompson by the girls' the team. To Bell. Oh, Mrs. New, Mrs. Gets, the New ball. gets the steal. Mr. Reinhardt setting screens in the middle. Oh, Bert. Oh, Mrs. Bert was Mrs. Bert just, just missed it. Unable to save it from going out of bounds. This is great. Yeah. And there's a substitution for the staff. Oh, Mr. Watson, the tricky Mr. Watson's back in the game. No one knows who, what he'll do. It's Bennett and Watson. Oh, it puts it up for the layup. I thought it was out of bounds. Yeah. Wow. It looked like uh, Mr. Glenn stepped in and made it. Looks like he was out of the game. But, but stood up and got back threw in. it down the field. Down the court. I keep saying field for some reason. I'm assuming they didn't. I don't think they counted it. No. They didn't put it up on. So the refs are being unfair, huh? Oh, I, wow. I don't know. Hankenhoff 
trying to find a solution. Mayo almost trapped in the corner, but able to go back Ooh. to the outside. Pierce, Pierce driving in. Oh, <gasps> Mr. Watson Watson, Watson, oh my oh. goodness. Oh my goodness. That was brutal. I felt that. Eighth guard goes ball. Mayo up for the three. Almost made it. The ball is safe from going out of bounds. Oh, oh and it's blocked Pierce out of bounds by Pierce. Swatted it out of the air. Substitutions for the girls. Walks in. Backwards oh, layup. Barely misses, goes up for the re rebound. Tries to get the ball again. Pierce beats him to it. Pierce taking it. Passing it all the way over. To Mayo. To Lott. Back to Pierce. Shoots a three. Oh, just oh, missed. Dakota Watson with the rebound. Watson spins, tries to evade Miss Hankenhoff. Over to Mr. Bennett. Over to Dr. DeConic. Back to Mr. Watson trying to put it up. For Dr. DeConic. Oh, oh, he gets a rebound. And he got and he the rebound it and put it in. 31-22. This game is not completely over for the staff yet. Hankinoff goes into the corner of the court. Mayo. To Mayo. She goes over to the center, passes back to Pierce. Pierce Shoots a three, three. and she hits the backboard. No, the no rim. Ball goes down the court. Bennett with the three. Oh, and it just hits the rim, barely a miss. Mrs. Staff get the rebound. Dakonek tries to find a. Watson shoots a three. Yeah, and that is in. Staff are regaining their footsteps. Who are you rooting for, Chris? Uh, we'll see. We'll really see. I'm really excited to see how this game will turn out. The girls are showing some power. They weren't. They didn't have in the first quarter. So, I think I'm rooting for the staff. Speaking of the girls, they just made another layup. Dakota up for a three. And he oh, made it. Oh, Oh space. my goodness. That was insane. 37-25. Showing his basketball skills. Bennett. Bennett steals the ball, goes down the court. Girls tracing frantically to get the ball away from them. Bennett Under up for the layup. 14 points. I am not sure, but I think that's the biggest lead they had this Him game. with the three. No, no good. Space. Staff rebounds. 14 points. Jeez. Yeah. And the layup Took is... it all the way into the layup. Wow. 41-25. The eighth grade girls are losing momentum fast. They have to do something about Mayo. it very quick. Fakes a three. Goes Pierce over to Pierce. Three. And, and she shoots. It's in. good. Perfect swish. 41-29. That is. Dakota shoots another three. Oh, oh it's no good. Pierce does the 40 rebound. seconds left. What can they do? Mayo. Reduce this lead. The re oh, the lead goes in. Very nice. Half a minute left to go in the half. Mr. Watson catches the pass all the way down the court. Shoots a three. Oh, he airballs it over. Dr. Dakota's not able to get a rebound. Staff get the rebound. And they oh, missed the layup. Missed the layup. They get it again. The ref's trying to interfere over there. Mr. They finally Watson get up. Oh, there's eight seconds left. The clock is ticking. They need to do something. Five, four, Five, four three, three, two, one. No good. Wow. And that is the end of the half. That was what a good first half. What do you think of this, Dalton? That was amazing. Yeah? That was great. Now I gotta go do the mobile camera. See you in a little bit. Dalton's gotta go do the interview. Some shots down the court. It's currently halftime, so.
are the eighth grade girls' parents walk in with their with their team in line. After this, we will get Dalton the microphone and be delivering you the halftime interview. So stay tuned for that. Point has just made out, been out, made out to me by my good friend Stuart Luhigo, the man behind the camera, or the switcher, if you would call it that. Um, he said, "What's very special about the um, Eight Grid Girls Threes is that they are worth four points tonight, and so that's why I was screwing up on the score a couple of times during the game thus far. So from now on, just to be sure." The eighth grade girls' threes are worth four points. Up next is the three-point shootout during halftime and our interviews, so we will get there very soon.
We are here with the interview of the first half with Mr. Ryan Hart. How did you feel after that first half? Oh, I think things were going great. I think the score only shows uh, a visual representation of what happened as far as our team did. We did. I think we did real well. I think we did real well. The score is 43-31, to 31, the staff lead. Uh, what do you think you could have done better? Uh, I think I really could have improved on most everything I did. Nothing I did went very well. Uh, I don't think I did anything uh, good enough that I could go home and feel happy with the decisions I made. So I probably just better go out and do something completely different because what I did the first time did not work. <laughs> uh, what was that thing when you were standing back in half court where everyone else was down there? Uh, I am. Uh, that's. Uh, I'm out of shape. And uh, when I was when that, at that point, I was too tired to go back down to the other side. So I waited and tried to act like it was strategic. Uh, it seems like you're really sweaty. I've been, I've been working a lot. I've been working out a bunch uh, out on the floor. I was sitting earlier, and now I'm standing. And so I've kind of I've reached that part of, of where we're at. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Reinhardt. It's my pleasure. Uh, go Woodman. I'm here with the eighth grade girls interview with Charlie Mayo. How good? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, what do you think you did better in the first half? Uh, we could drive to the basket a little bit more, but I think we're kind of scared because we're going to get blocked. Mr. Watson is kind of jumping all over you guys. How do you feel? Uh, I think I'm more scared of Mr. Reinhardt, honestly. So. He said that uh, because of the score, they think they're going to do better. What do you think of his answer? Who, Reinhardt? That's what you said. Uh, I think we'll come back. We'll come back this morning. Do you think you'll win? Yeah, or it's going to be close. I think so too. Thank you.
I'm here with Luke, John, and E Money. How do you guys think the first half went? The teachers are going easy. Yeah. Really? I mean, they look all pretty tired already. It's like my parents, you know, they whoop me. I'm here with Emma and Dylan. How do you guys think the first half went? Oh, the teachers dominated for sure. Teachers were dominating for sure. Um, Mr. Watson's a pretty good player. Mr. Reinhardt and Mr. Uh, or Dr. Koenig were doing pretty good. I don't good know. I, I think students can make a good comeback though. Yeah. I honestly, personally, I think the teachers are gonna. Win. Yeah, me too. I think it's gonna be a close game. Yeah. Thank you. I'm here with Mr. Watson. How do you think it went after the first half? Oh, it went pretty well. Um, I'm decrepit and old, but I was out of breath pretty quickly. Um, I, and I'm in far better shape than almost anyone else on the team, so I can't imagine how they're feeling. Good bunch of girls over there. They play hard. Uh, I, I think, barring heart attacks on the staff team, we might be able to pull out the victory. What do you think you could have done better after the first half? Probably not have played as much. I think I would have helped my team out much more if I would have said a little bit more, played a little bit less. That That's what I think I could have done. Thank you. That's the whole interview? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, that's stupid. the interview part two with Mr. Watson. How are you after that first half? Oh, I'm pretty good. I'm feeling real good. How about you? I'm feeling great. That was a good first half. <laughs> what could you have done better? I could have fouled more. I think I should have fouled more. There's a lot of girls out there. I should have fouled hard. A lot of sass from them in class. A lot of, uh, a lot of pouting around in my class. I could have paid them back with some good hard fouls out there. So definitely should have fouled hard. There's a couple people on the staff team that are on my team. I wish I'd have fouled them. I was trying to put an elbow right in their mouth, hard as I could. That's what I wish I could have done better. All of them. And I'll tell you what, too, there's a couple people sitting in the stands and at the scores bench. I'll foul them, too. Next question. Uh, who do you think is the, um, other than you, because we know you've put up the most points, uh, who do you think is doing the second best? Second best, uh, uh, well, Dr. D, he played pretty well. It's probably going to be his last one, so he's going to go out like a champion. I really like to see Mr. Reinhardt on the dive on the ground there. That's a yearly occasion. We'll, we'll mop up that butter that's on the floor from when he dove and his shirt came up later. That's no problem. Uh, some of these girls played pretty hard. Uh, not too bad. I don't even know what the question was. They said the question again. Uh, who's the second best player? Uh, pick one person. Yeah. Well, no, nobody's any good. I'm going to tell you, including myself. Huh? Wait, wait, it's, it's, it's almost 7 o'clock at night. This game's been going on for three and a half hours. I had to give my IU tickets away for it. All I want to do is go home, watch an episode of Matlock, maybe some YouTubes. 
You know what I mean? And then settle down for a nice sleep because I go to get up at 4 a.m. to go up there and lift some weight. So if you're asking me if anyone else played good, no, no one played good. Not even myself. Myself at the bottom of the list. That's what I think. Next question. Do you think uh, working out in the weight room every morning and after school helps you during this game? Oh, uh, you, you better believe it. Yeah, weak things break. They always do, right? I, 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 I think it's important that every day I get out there and bang them up. Bang those weights, get it, get strong. Uh, I think I might be dead right now if I didn't, because I think I played harder than anybody out there, and I'm still alive. So yes, everyone should be up there with me every morning at 5 a.m., ready to go, okay? Sucking the marrow out of the bones of their workout, attacking the workout with the intensity of 10,000 burning suns every single day, except for those people I'm talking about that I don't like very well, and I wanted to foul. I don't want those people up there. Next question, if you have any. Um, I hope to see you in the second half. That was a great first half from you. Hey, thanks, man. I'll get out. Thank you. Yeah. Hey guys, hope you like those interviews. We are now ready to start the third quarter of this amazing game between the 8th grade girls basketball team and the staff. 43 to 31, staff at the moment. Mr. Watson stole the ball away. Fakes it behind his back. Is not able to make it work, it goes out of bounds. Brooklyn Bell takes it out. Hanging off, shoots a three, and it's good. 43 to 34, no, 35 now. The ball is passed around. Mr. Bennett takes it up to the rim. Mr. Watson gets it, tries to shoot a layup, and it's good. 45 to 34. Wilmel takes it down the court. Mr. Watson interferes, out of bounds. It's still girls' ball. Ball goes out to Mayo on the end. She rebounds it, passes it over to Pierce, fakes a three, shoots a real one, and his twist is through. 45, oh, it was a two, 35, 45 to 37. Way up by Mr. Bennett, it's good, 47 to 37 now. Watt passes it to Bell, passes it to Pierce. Passes it over to Hankenhoff. Tries to do a backwards layup, but doesn't make it work. Mr. Bennett passes it all the way down the court. And the layup's no good, it bounces it off the rim. Into Bell's hands, passes it over to Pierce, going down the court trying to figure something out to give her team points. Mayo trying to figure out some solution to this 10-point deficit. 
Mr. Glenn bops it out of the air. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. And that is Dalton. Yeah, Mr. Glenn saying that way because it was their ball. Three is taken by Saf. It's no good hanging off. Gets the rebound. Ball is driven down the court. Lot tries to take it up. Oh, almost gets it stolen away from her, but she gets it back. Goes out to Pierce. Back to Bell on the edge. Shoots a three. It's too far. Oh, it's passed all the way down from Watson to Bennett. Shoots a three. Oh, and that was a pretty shot. Swish Odrano. 50 to 37. Oh, Pierce takes a walk up three. Doesn't work it. Balls again, passed all the way down the court by Watson, and another layup is scored. The girls drop to 15 below. And the ball gets knocked out of bounds. It is staff ball again. Watson steps up for a three and drains it. It's 55 to 37. This I was not expecting. Trying to look for another way to get back the points. And a failed pass goes down the court for staff. 57 to 37, a 20 point lead and what seems like domination at this time. The layup is no good, goes down the, uh, the court, side by Bennett, up to the front, shoots a three and it is short on the rim. Bell passes all the way up over Watson. Oh, and it's a travel by Mayo. Fifty-seven to thirty-nine now. Oh, the shot is no good. Oh, yeah, it's stolen back by Mayo and it bounces in. Fifty-seven to uh, is that forty-one? A substitution. For both teams. Mr. Reinhardt, Dr. DeKonick are out on the field. And Mr. Dean, they are a lethal trio. The timeout was called before the shot was made. Alyssa Ham goes up for the shot. It is too far to the right. Dean tries to catch a pass by Reinhardt, but it goes behind his back. Oh, DeKonick rebounds, goes all the way down the court. Oh, look at those moves by Dr. DeKonick. Oh, Dean almost drops his pass. Rebound can't be made by DeKonick. Oh my goodness. He flops on the floor trying to get fouled, but it did not work. Mrs. Burt is laying down just below the basket. Did you just hear Mr. Reinhardt in the back? Yes, I did. Screaming timeout. Welcome back, Dalton. We missed you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Burt takes out the ball. She asked the ref what to do with it. I think she didn't know she had to pass it in. Dean, Dean wants to try and shoot, but there's someone guarding him. Reinhardt driving up. Oh my goodness, look Wait, at those it, feet it movements. It looks like one of the staff is now <laughs> playing with the eighth graders. Yeah, maybe. There is another score. 
57 to 42 now. This game is not over just yet. Reinhardt gets the pass, passes it over to DeKonek. The layup's no good, but he gets his own rebound and puts it up for the score. They get the ball until Alyssa Ham volunteers. Pass over to King, who is guarded by Reinhardt. He almost swats the ball out of her hands. It's passed back all the way over, and the three is shot short of the basket. Dean is passed all the way down the floor. Fakes it back to Burt, shoots it. Oh, and almost banks it in. I think Mr. Reinhardt is now in the back being more of an emotional support. He is beating everybody to the other side of the court every single play. Coincidence? Three is short, Reinhardt rebounds it, passes it over to Dakota. Two minutes left in the quarter. There's a foul. And DeKonek is shooting two. Reinhardt again is on his, his side at the other end of the court. Ooh. No good. Oh, Dean and Reinhardt are both sitting at that end of the court. Cam takes the ball out, passes it back to uh, Hickenhoff. Tries to drive up a stop way short of the basket. What was this? Quite sure what happened. <laughs> Mrs. Havens is now shooting free throws by Mrs. herself. Havens for the free throws. Oh, she oh. shoots. Big, oh, it is good! Big, big wow. off the back. Stu, can three. you hear me? Big Stu, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Stuart? Mr. Watson is currently communicating. It's me, Watson. Instead of talking to us directly through the mic, she makes another free throw. Mrs. Burr's second free throw just went in. Sorry, Havens. Dalton just sorry. pulled an oopsie. I'm sorry. 61 to 42, there's a minute left in the third quarter. The girls need some sort of miracle. Dean gets the ball, is guarded by Bell. Oh, oh he missed pulls, Dean. Pulls a behind the back on her, tries to juke everybody out. Oh, and he almost makes it by himself. Hank it off. Streaks down the field. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Reinhardt. Mr. Reinhardt trips over Hankenhoff, and then he rolls on the on the court. <laughs> Mr. Reinhardt. You know that? I'm glad he didn't hurt that girl. That girl. Oh. Reinhardt looks genuinely Reinhardt strained at this point. One free throw was good. Second 61 to 44 good. now. 20 seconds to go. Staff have the ball. Maybe they can make a final Mr. shot. Backing her down. To maybe seal the deal. Oh, Dean gets the ball. Gets the ball. Three. Shoot the three. Oh. oh, and it's no good. King gets the rebound for the girls. Four, three, two seconds left. Oh, and she almost made the layup to end that the quarter. Was close. But was not able to execute. 
looks like quarter. they were playing rough. A little bit more rough that now time. The, now the fourth quarter is usually the most intense quarter of the game. It will be. I expect to see a major comeback in our hands. 61 to 46. It's only a 15 point deficit. Yeah, but 15 points is a lot. But they've been able to overcome stuff like that earlier in the game. Yeah. They cut um, to within six at one point. I do remember that. And I think they put Mr. Reinhardt back. Mr. Watson and Mr. Reinhardt back. It'll be great. On the court for the staff, there is Bennett, uh, Mr. and Mrs. New, Mrs. Burt, and Mrs. Waymeyer. <laughs> On the girls' side, there is Lott, and Pierce, and Mayo, and King. Mayo's taking it down to half court, guarded by Mrs. New, who's doing a really good job of boxing her out. Stopped at the three-point line on one end. Tries to pass it to King, but Mrs. New grabs the ball from her. New drives all the way down, looks to get a score, passes it back to Burt. Mrs. New grabs it from her. Waymeyer passes it over to Bennett. Miss New. Mr. New, Miss Burt. Oh, it was Ooh, no good. It was off. bounced too high. Burt stole the ball away. Oh, somebody was knocked to the ground. What is this? Pierce ends up with the ball going the other way. Passes it over to Mayo, and who passes it to Long. Interview with Mr. Watson. We already did interview with Mr. Watson. He Twice. might have to be again. Oh, uh, maybe. Bennett steps up to the three-point line. Oh, they got so lucky with that pass. It was too high, but uh, Bennett. deflected back to Mr. New. Back to Mr. New. Mr. New. Just a long two, and then short. way short. Airballed it. Mr. New stole the ball again, though. Lot tries this. Lot steals the ball from Burt. Oh, my goodness. There's been one score this, this quarter in the first two minutes. Mrs. New almost makes it. Pierce dribbles down the court yet again. Passes over to Mayo, shoots a three. Oh, just short. But is rebounded by, is that Lot? Tries for the layup and is short. Mr. New tries to juke out the girls team. Mr. Bennett for the three. In and it out. deflects off both ends of the rim. Ball travels back and forth. Pierce shoots a three, and it's good. 61 to 50. Uh, is that three? Scoreboard says 61 to 53. That's an eight point deficit. Could we be witnessing a miracle? Might be. This is very intense. Miss New. Oh, and she almost made a three. Pierce goes back down the court. She seems to be the playmaker of this half. 
The ball goes up, almost made, but Mr. Bennett makes the rebound for the staff side. And a substitution for both teams. I'm losing my voice right now. It's very intense. This is it, and it gets the ball back. Mr. Reinhardt is over here screaming encouragement. Oh, and the girls team oh, steals the ball. To Mayo, to Ham. Two to three, and it's good. Oh my space. goodness. What is the score now? 61 to 56, they, they didn't give the girls the full four points. Four? Wouldn't it be three? No, uh, this game, all girls threes are actually fours. Oh. Wait, Shot. how do you know? I was told that. By him. Oh, they did give the girls the extra point. 61 to 57. One okay. more three, and it's, it's tied. tied. It's a tie game. With five oh, wouldn't it be and a half minutes three. left to go in the game. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and... Bennett steals it. Almost looks like he's going in for a dunk, but does not execute it all the way through. Shot goes up. Mr. New tries to get it. It goes back to Hankenhoff, who dribbles it down the court. Hankenhoff. <laughs> he simply lets, simply lets uh, Bennett foul her. She's now passing it in. Going nuts. Oh, it's no good. Mrs. New passes it to Mr. New. He dribbles it down the court, trying to make something out of nothing with this For brand. The three. And it's no good. Goes back to Mrs. New, passes it over Sutton, but Hankenhoff passes it back to Bell, chucks it all the way down, and she misses the layup. Lot tries to put it up, but she can't. Make it work. And it's another foul on Mr. Bennett. <laughs> and he is clearly displaying his disagreement with the judge. The judge? The ref? The student section is going crazy. Everything is in turmoil. Ben has been sent to the sideline and he's being replaced. Oh no, there's substitutions. Substitutions for both teams. A lot of shooting free throws. The staff are displaying their annoyance on the sideline, as far as we can tell. Yes. Doesn't, they don't think the game is going fair. 61 to 58 with 422 left in the game. I could be mistaken, but I think uh, Mr. Bennett was thrown out of the game. I do believe that is what happened. Oh, Lot is still shooting. She shot one more free throw and made it. So now it's 61 to 59. Two point game with 422 left. I the think girls have made it a game. They started this quarter with a 15-point deficit, and now they're they're down to two. And they have the ball. Lot shoots a three. Oh, it's no good. No. Mr. Reinhardt wants to be in the view of the camera. Staff go down very quickly and shoot another two. They're looking to tie it up. The girls are, that is. Ham has the ball, dribbles it over the lot. They shoot to three. Oh, it's no good. Ball's passed down the court. Mr. New tries to swirl it into the basket, but it's no good. It passes it over to Bell. Down to make it off. No good. DeKonig passes it over to Watson. And Watson makes the layup. Three and a half minutes to go, six minutes. Uh, six-point deficit for the girls. 
basketball team. Mayo gets the ball, guarded by New. Hankenhoff shoots a three, it's no good. Dakonik is guarded down there, and he can't get the ball. Hankenhoff goes down and passes it over. Who has the ball? Ham shoots a three, and it's good! That was a great swap by Mr. Watson. Was that a three? No, it was just a two. 65 to 61 now. Oh, New almost has the ball stolen from him. Pass all the way over to the other side of the court and a three is shot, but it's no good. And Bell is swatted. Three, but it's no good. Dakotic dribbles down the court trying to get something to work for his team now that they're only up by four. Oh, a three is shot and it's just over. Dakota takes the ball back. Tries to, he stays in bounds. Oh, and Hankenhoff steals it. Nice interception by Courtney Hankenhoff. Steals it out of the air. And Mr. Watson steals it right back, trying to throw it down, down the court or something. Oh, Dakonic jukes out someone, but his shot doesn't work. Hankenhoff fights for the ball, and she gets it for her team. Rose ball. 561. Minute and a half to go. Oh, she and makes the it. three is in. 65 to 65? One point decimal, deficit. Oh, they didn't give them extra With point. 65, one 64. Left to go. One minute left. Stafford trying to pull ahead by more than one. This is the smallest lead they had since the game started. Oh, they're, they're what? Watson's winding out the, trying to wind out the clock. New passes it all the way, jumbles the ball. Was there a foul of some sort? Staff's passing in all the way over to New. Oh, and the ball is lost. Mr. Watson gets it, and there's a travel. Travel. It is the girls. Ball with 35 seconds to go, down by one. This is really intense. The girls. Why am I stressing out? I'm not even in this game. It's still so exciting to scream about it. What happened this time? Oh, there's a timeout. 28 seconds to go. 65 to 64. just announced that Dr. DeConnick won the MVP award for this game. Thirty seconds left. He's passing to Hakenhoff. Mr. Reinhardt, Mr. Dino blocking my view, but I'm trying to make it work as it is. Oh, ball's almost stolen from Pierce. She shoots a three. And it's Pierce good! Four. Wow! 65 to 67 with 13 seconds to go. Mr. Watson tries to make a move or something to get more points for their team. Dr. DeConnick. Oh! He is fouled with eight seconds to go. He gets to shoot two. Oh my goodness. This could go into overtime. 8.1 seconds Maybe left it could. to go. I don't know. 
Everybody is going nuts. Mr. Dean just said, let's see if the MVP can win the game. No pressure, Dr. DeConnick. And he makes the first one. There's one. Oh my goodness. Can he make the second one? Oh my gosh. 66 to 60. Oh, it is uh, so good. He just missed the, it. Get the rebound. For the three. No, it is so good. DeConnick saves it from going out of bounds. And he's fouled again. It's 2.8 seconds. To, oh, Dr. DeConnick's rolling around on the ground. He's, he's in obvious pain. 2.8 seconds to go. 66. He could. This to, could. Yes, this could be the end of the game right here. All of this watch, counts. watch as he makes these, and then they turn around and they shoot, and they go shoot like a half court. Oh, and he misses! Oh my goodness! Oh, oh he's my got goodness! One more shot. MVP shouted in the stands. And he misses! And he misses! Oh, they hold it! They hold it! It's going to overtime. And it is going into wow. overtime. I cannot believe how that That quarter was great. 15-point deficit to start the final quarter of the game. That was amazing. 66 to 66. It's now going into overtime. I wonder if this has ever I wonder if this has ever happened before in the history of Stafford Students games. This is insane. They better put in their best players. Sudden death time. I'm assuming that means the first goal made wins. Oh my goodness. Yeah, sudden death, first person, first team to make a goal wins. I feel like I'm hyperventilating. This is get, this is gonna be great overtime. My voice is cracking. I can't really speak that well right now, but I'm really, really excited. Oh, they're doing rock, paper, scissors in the middle of the court. Oh, and uh, Mr. Bennett won rock, paper, scissors. I'm assuming that they get the ball first. I think. This could change just a friendly the game whole game. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors determining the winner of the greatest game ever played. I don't know if they would do that. They're still jumping. Mr. Williams to toss up between Mr. Bennett and Brooklyn Bell. Sudden death. First one to make any sort of goal wins. I think that's how it works. And Mr. Reinhardt is also out there on the court. So you never know what's going to happen. And Mr. Watson, too. Oh, goodness. Oh, the ball is taken by Pierce. Oh, and it's... It is girl's ball. Girl's ball. It was knocked out of bounds. Mayo's passing the ball guarded by Watson. He looks... Very intense. Yeah. Mayo with the ball again at the top. Almost. Oh, it's still oh, by Watson. Mr. Watson. And it's in. That's it. Mr. That's, Watson with the game it. winning shot. That was a great game. Oh, my goodness. And I thought it had run away from the girls in the beginning. But all of a sudden, they came back from 15-point deficit in the fourth quarter. That was a great game. Yeah. We'll see you guys at the interview.
here with the end of the game interview with Mr. Williams. How was it roughing out there? Oh, it was fun. I had a great time. Both teams played hard, and it's all we could ask for. Of course, the faculty once again came out on top. Um, it was good seeing Dr. D in his last game play really well like that, and so great time. How did you think of the uh, staff's uh, roughness to the, towards the girls? Yeah, <laughs> I think a few of them were getting a little rough. Uh, we tried to call it a fair game. Noticed a few points on the scoreboard weren't adding up quite right, but all in all, hey, great job. Yeah, definitely. It was a great game. Uh, what happened to Mr. Bennett there at the end? Um, he was talking a little bit to the refs, and we had, we had given him a, a war, we had given him a warning, and so uh, you know, just just talking a little bit as a coach. Yeah, we all do. Yeah. Thank you for refing this game, and we love you. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you for the broadcast. Thanks for streaming. Thanks for all you guys do for Greenwood. We love you guys. All right. Brianna Pierce, how do you think that game went? Eh, it went good. We almost won. <laughs> uh, that Mr. Watson taking that steal, I think there should have been a foul called. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. That was definitely a foul. <laughs> what do you think you guys guys could have done better? And we were good. They cheated us out of the game. 
they added points at the end because we were beating them. I don't know. You were far behind going into the fourth quarter, like 15 yeah, points. I think quarter, we took that dub in the fourth. Yeah. How do you think you did personally? Man, I was a threes. I did good. I did good. Yeah, that was good. Thank you, and I'll see you next tomorrow. All right, guys, that is it for our 8th uh, grade girls versus GMS staff basketball game. We hope that you enjoyed this live stream. Hopefully we added some entertainment to your day to make your day better, to make you laugh a little bit. Um, yeah, um, we, we hope that you enjoyed watching and hope that you tune in next time where we have another great game for you guys to watch, more great commentary, and more great camera work for you guys to enjoy. I'm Chris Rometta. I'm Dalton Augersmith. Thank you for watching.